Okay, so I want to do a little bit better of an explanation on picking up your monitors or small lizards or just about any animal that isn't comfortable with you yet out of their enclosure. You'll see Echo's got a big like five foot by two and a half foot enclosure for a little 16, 17 inch lizard. Now, to explain picking them up, see I've got my hand here that's kind of got him a little off put back in the corner, plus he hates the camera. So you're going to see your typical aggression as though I haven't been working with him for two months. Now, when you reach in, you want to keep your hand as low and flat as possible with your smaller monitors that think you're going to eat them. Now when you get into your bigger monitors like Blue's size and they're more likely to bite you, you want to use more of a broad hand. You see how he's puffing up and making himself look bigger? You want to do the same thing with your hand when you're dealing with a larger monitor or larger reptile that's going to want to bite. You're giving them less surface for them to think they can bite. However, if you do this with a smaller monitor or even your medium-sized lizards, when you reach up and over and you puff up, you see you're causing him to do that exact same thing. You're presenting a physical challenge. But with someone echo size, if you flatten that hand out, watch his body language as I do this. See his neck gets a little thinner. He's starting to flick his tongue. Now that my hand's flat and low, and I'm keeping it below him, he's less intimidated and less likely to run away. I can easily slide my hand up underneath him, and kind of similar to how you'd coax a bird, you're going to go to the chest right underneath the neck and ease them up. Oh, easy. And you move nice and slow. See, he didn't fight too much. Now, I'm going to let him back down. And I'm going to show something. See how my hand's flat and he's bulking up? Now let's show the complete wrong way. If I reach above him, you see this? This is why cages that open from the front are better for your lizards. Because when you're coming in from the top of the cage and you're reaching down over them, you are a predator. He is terrified of that right now. Now I'm going to stop doing that because I don't want to stress him out. And you see, through this whole time, he has not darted or bolted away from me. You know how you cause them to dart and bolt away from you? You are causing this behavior. If you, I'm going to try and get a broad view of the cage. If you reach in fast, he's going to move away fast. See, if I'm reaching over him and I'm trying to grab, he's running away. But if I go in nice and slow... And underneath him and scoop him up even after I've done the wrong thing I can pick him up look I'm not restraining him I'm not holding him still in any way I'm simply easing my way into him he's more worried about the camera than he is me right now but you see, slow and steady wins the race.